Hello, this is Military Industrial Museum again. Well, it's the day after drill for me. Um, early May 2013. Um, it's my day off work, so I decided to just kind of recover. I'm getting sort of a sore throat. I work really long hours and it takes a toll. So. So I was just looking through my gear. I finally got my charge controller uh, that I ordered from Amazon. And I'd ordered uh, a solar panel, uh, I think a year and a half ago, but I didn't have a charge controller for it. So finally I figured it out. And um, I've got an old uh, Optima battery I used to have in my Volkswagen Baja Bug. And it's too weak and old to be reliable for um, running a vehicle uh, startup. But I'm going to see what I can do salvage wise and see if I can't power some LEDs off of it. So, the other thing to talk about is I got a, uh, uh, a military. Uh, charging set uh, Gulf War era, uh, era surplus and, um, I finally got some BB490U batteries from eBay and uh, that's one of the types that are charged by this system so I quickly put them on the uh, I think it's a uh, OP144U uh, or something like that. I'll have to look it up. Uh, charging system, solar charging system, and uh, uh, I'm trying to save those batteries. They've been sitting on the shelf probably for years and years. They're probably not going to survive, but I put them on the charge right away. We'll see. So let's take a little view of what we got. Um, okay, so. Right here is a uh, flexible solar panel. Um, I don't know the origin of it. Looks like it's military because the uh, Woodland DDU. But um, I ordered a, uh, a military computer a couple years ago off of uh, eBay and it came with it. but. The way it was presented is you had to uh, plug this right into your computer, which is kind of uh, not so good because you, what you want is a charge controller and a battery um, between the solar panel and your computer, as I understand it. So, anyway, <coughs> these are the uh, plugs right here. They cinch together. You can research these. That's what I'm talking about. It's really tied down grommets. And so the wind's picked up, and this thing went flying again. It went flying before, the first time I tested it out a while ago, and um, caused a little creasing damage here. Thinking that plastic coat, hope the panel's pretty much okay, but it went flying again. So. If you do have a floatable uh, uh, panel like a Brunton or something, I got a Brunton. I got it before I went to Iraq. I haven't used it yet though. <laughs> uh, you're going to want to look for tie down grommets or use some. Uh, this is some Gorilla tape. But use some duct tape or something like that so you can secure it because the wind will take it flying it'll fly it just like a kite and that's a bad way to go so anyway under this piece of crap wood parker board I was using it as a solar shade so the battery it wouldn't be in direct sunlight you want to shade your battery in some fashion so this is just a, a quick setup um, it's not really ideal just to test it out play around like I said I'm having like an off day here this is a charge controller I got I think it was a little less than 20 bucks 
it's nice though because one of these LEDs will light up, one of the three, and uh, right now it says low voltage because obviously it's charging up this, this old Optima battery. And while that's on, you won't be able to use the, uh, the load the load coupler. This actually goes to that computer I mentioned. <clears throat> but uh, it's a uh, Parasock tub. But anyway, um, it's not going to allow that because it's on the low voltage cutoff. You can kind of see that illuminated. <clears throat> and then when the sun gets bright, right now it's starting to get cloudy, obviously. So the sun's not really strong right now. You'll see this yellow one come on. And when it's ready to go, it'll, or it's overcharging, it'll, high, whole, high voltage will turn green, and the uh, solar panel line will shut off, and prevent it from overcharging. So it's a pretty nifty unit. Uh, definitely better than having nothing, because you don't want to blow a battery or something from overcharging. Well, it won't be any overcharging in the day, obviously, with that overcast so the other thing I have up right now is part of the OP 144 U set that set came with um, a crank generator and also a plug-in so we can get charging from a uh, wall outlet uh, what was missing from it was the uh, the universal adapters for different countries so you can plug into their outlets but I found an equivalent at a thrift store actually a travel uh, charger a wall unit so kind of restored most of the functions the problem with this unit as they don't make them anymore like I said it's Gulf War era I suppose it was uh, part of special forces kit um, but anyway principles of it a full uh, let me see excuse me I'm a little bit like I said it's part of the the OP 177 uniform set this is a solar panel assembly function um, LP 177 uniform. There we go. But anyway, one of the batteries you can charge is a BB 490, and uh, I just got a couple off of eBay uh, of unknown um, quality. When you get a battery, you can kind of tell from the scuffs and stuff. A military battery, how much use it's gotten. This has has a red sticker, which is to me is not a good sign. But anyway, this is a power supply adapter. It has two functions. You tilt it, and it'll read. Uh, I guess amps going through. And then you put it upright. It'll show your your charge status. I may have that wrong. I need to do some more studying on the manual, but, but that's sort of a dual selector. So, um, like I said, this is a rechargeable BB490U. It's a lead acid battery, sort of old technology. So, um, I think the military is getting away from that, They're phasing them out. They're going to uh, lithium and uh, at least NICAD. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway. We'll see what happens. With this overcast day, I don't think much is going to happen, actually. But I decided to make a quick YouTube video to kind of show, even though I'm sick, I'm trying to do things. Uh, and I thought this would be interesting for uh, military and solar enthusiasts. Okay, so anyway, this is the Military Industrial Museum, kind of under the weather. Uh, subscribe, support my sponsors, they support me. And uh, other than that, Investigate solar power and alternative energy. It's a good way to know how to do things.